wow. <laughs> wow, just wow, oh wow. Like I legitimately said at the time of this happened, like no way, wow, like I guess I hopped. And that is CM Punk coming back to the WWE at Survivor Series. There was one poll here um, where I where, where I seen there were probably a lot of polls out there, but there was a poll from a um, talk show host, a wrestling talk show host. He has a lot of followers and he had a lot of responses, hence, on his poll. And the poll right before Survivor Series was simply this. Do you think CM Punk will show up at Survivor Series? 72% said no. The rest believed that CM Punk would show. And there were a lot of uh, subliminal hints... I guess in um, you know you've seen various subliminal hints over the previous previous weeks and a lot of uh, internet sleuths, wrestling sleuths, would investigate and be like, "Oh yeah, that that's a clue for CM Punk, right?" Um, oh, CM Punk said this once in a promo, and now this guy said the same thing in a promo. Another clue. <laughs> It was to the point where it would be like, you know, oh, Rosemont sells uh, Pepsi, and CM Punk return confirmed. And then the very last, <laughs> the very last day you had the uh, remastering or the retuning of Cult of Personality. Love him or hate him, this guy draws attention to wherever he goes right wherever he goes he draws attention so it's almost with that being said where any you know personal I, I, you will find that a lot of higher ups in big companies, you know, big companies where, you know, they will tell you business is business, right? It's, it's just business. We're running our business and our job is to make the most money possible. And CM Punk is going to do that for you. He's going to do that for, for you. I, I just, you know, and, and, and I say that, wow, like in amazement. Because, like, don't get me wrong, I, I love to see CM Punk back in the WWE. That promo that he's going to have on Monday night is going to be much, much watched. But you wonder, like, how, to be a, just a fly on the wall on that conversation for CM Punk, that, you know, he expressed the interest that he wants to come back. I mean, what was said? What broke the ice? And I know, and I know, people change. And it's been ten years, but for someone to be back with a company that you know that that he sued and had all these feelings towards is just amazing, right? Amazing. And he's here. Uh, he's here. There are a lot of older wrestlers, a lot of wrestling veterans in the back there. Um, you know, Randy Orton. You know, um, he's got Cody Rhodes. Uh, the Usos have been there a long time. You know, even Kevin Owens has been there a long time. Whatever, and they all had history, you know, some of them have his history with Punk Pryor, you know. I don't think if supposedly what the rumors were with CM Punk, I don't think that will happen in the WWE. Because there are a lot of people there in WWE um, that won't let it get to that point. There are a lot of veteran leaders there. Um, and I just don't think that they will let it get to that point. 
you know, if those rumors about CM Punk are true and causing, you know, commotion. And I, and I think, you know, this is truly home for CM Punk because I, I think he, he's just going to be happy and he, he's going to, you know, he's, he's going he's to say to himself, the way this ship is run is better than the AEW ship. It all sounds well and great when you get there, but when you experience it, it's two different things. I, I just think there are not too many cooks in the kitchen in WWE as there is in AEW. It just uh, makes things a lot more easier. Look, and as far as that uh, second part there, Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins, if you listen to prior interviews, like um, podcasts that he had when he spoke about his situation with um, Matt Riddle, you will know, I think you, you could be in agreement, that what we've seen from Seth Rollins, and there's a video going around where he's, uh, after Survivor Series went off the air, he's flipping the bird, He's, um, you know, he's just profanity. Look, as soon as he's seen CM Punk, it's like, okay, this is where I can make the most money, knowing what uh, what he said, what Seth Rollins has said, you know, uh, at various interviews about CM Punk. This is my way to make money. This is going to make money for us. This is going to blur the lines between of what is reality and what is uh you know, and what's not. It's going to blur the lines. Kayfabe is back, baby. Kayfabe is back. And I think, you know, Seth Rollins knew exactly what he was doing. And I don't think... Uh, remember, there, there is a... Uh, you hear many of times that when you're out there, until you hit the back curtain into the um, locker room area, from, from the time you... Exit the locker room area to the time you enter the locker room area, you're always working. So I think Seth Rollins was simply working. And strap in, because WrestleMania season is, uh, is coming real quick.